Hi. <laughs> Say hi. Yeah. So I've been wanting to start a vlog or just making videos for a while just because, I don't know, I have a lot to say. I wanted to, oh my goodness. I started one back when I was pregnant with Jess to track his pregnancy and I made like four videos and I stopped because my dad got sick and things got weird and hard and emotional and yeah. So now I just want to, I don't know, start it back up that things are going good and there's a lot going on and I'm motivated about things and there's a lot of change and change is scary, but it's good. And so, yeah, I'm going to make videos and if you want to watch them, watch them. And if you don't, don't, but here we are. Hi. I have tried to start and just continuously like through the day tried to film a video uh, and speak what was on my mind today and how I've been feeling and I tried to watch the little clips that I did when I could and I was like oh my gosh I'm so ADHD I don't even know what I was trying to say. <laughs> so I, now that there are no distractions and the boys are in bed and John is asleep and everybody's been fed and bathed and I picked up a little bit, I just wanted to sit and slow my mind down enough to talk about what I want to do, which is I guess priorities I I need to get my priorities straight everything has felt really messy uh, for like the last four years it's been sad things have been sad there's been really good moments don't get me wrong I've been really happy in between the sad but mostly sad and I'm tired of being sad. <laughs> it's been hard. It's been watching three of the most important people in my life get sick and visiting in the hospitals and hospice and treatments and just watching strong and and sprightly people diminish into something you hardly recognize and it's a really hard thing to go through and after experiencing that for the last few years and losing babies and I don't know I'm just I'm tired <laughs> right I know I can't be the only one I just wanted to share, I don't know, some vulnerability, I guess, because I love it. I can't get enough of vulnerability. There's not enough of that. Things just have felt messy and I'm ready to find some normalcy, I guess, create some normalcy. Um, I know things are never going to be perfect and I'm very aware of the reality that things are always gonna feel messy. Um, but I guess just getting priorities straight, I've already removed people from my life that I didn't want there. And that feels really good. Um, just choosing positivity and choosing to be living in peace over you know, giving up my my peace of mind and my mental health for somebody else to be happy is not going to happen anymore. Me and my, my husband and my children come first and that's it. And then, you know, I have some really great friends and, you know, we went to church for the first time uh, in, in months uh, this past Sunday. 
and I could, I just bawled like the whole time. I just couldn't help but cry because it's hard. It's hard to go to church and to try and sit there and worship and praise a God that I feel like has turned his back on me every time, you know, I reach out for the last few years. It's just felt like a constant battle of please help me. I'm begging you to help me. And him saying, no, like you're going through this. There's a reason for it. And sometimes I get it. Sometimes it's made clear to me and sometimes it's not. And it's really hard to get past that and to trust and to let go of control. I'm sorry if this is, <laughs> I'm sure it's just as scattered as a bunch of different little videos of me talking about different things, but I'm just trying to prioritize. I'm trying to work on my relationship with God. I'm trying to work on being a better mom and being more present. Uh, putting on my phone, shutting off the TV, and uh, putting the chores aside, and just focusing on what's important. We have, this is the first year in, like I said, the last four or five years that we haven't had something bad or catastrophic happening, like that we knew was coming. We haven't had any family members that are sick or anything extremely horrible happening right now. It's just, it's just exciting things. We have a baby coming. We are um, in a very exciting time that I will share more about when um, things are a little more finalized and we figure out kind of what's going on. It's stressful, but exciting. And um, we planned a vacation for July. Um, I'm really excited about that and our baby's only going to be probably a few weeks, not even a month old, um, but we're going the first week of July and I'm really looking forward to it and we have uh, a wedding this, this year and Johnny's starting preschool and hopefully we're going to sign him up for soccer, so... There's a lot of very exciting things going on this year, and I just want to focus on the positive and, and regroup. I just want to breathe. I want to regroup. I want to feel like I don't have the weight of, weight of the world on my shoulders, and I don't want to feel like I have an elephant sitting on my chest anymore, you know? And I haven't had a chance to go back to counseling because just has been too busy, um, but I figured, I don't know, I'll put it all out here because I know I'm not the only one that feels this way and it's nice to hear and not everybody feels comfortable being vulnerable because it's scary and people are judgmental and whatever. Everything, you know, everybody thinks everything has to be perfect to put yourself out there. You have to have this appearance of being perfect. And here I am, you know, with my messy hair and my broken out skin and I'm a mess, but it's okay because we're all messes and, and life is messy. And yeah, so I'm just motivated to make better choices and create better routines and just get some sort of normalcy back. And I know everybody feels that way even after or with all this COVID stuff going on. I think normalcy just sounds really great. Um, yeah, so that's all I have to say. I just, I know it's kind of all over the place it's just what's been on my heart and on my mind lately. And I don't know, I'm just, I'm looking forward to building relationships that are positive and, and don't make me feel bad about myself and people that love me for who I am. And the people that don't, I'm not gonna give the time of day anymore. I don't care. I'm done trying to impress people that don't give a crap about me. 
that's like one of the hardest things that I've ever had to do because I'm a people pleaser. But I'm sick of doing things and constantly um, making myself smaller so that other people can feel bigger. Um, I have a lot of people in my life that love me. <laughs> I am loved. I am fun, I guess, sometimes. Maybe I'm blowing up my head here, but uh, I'm trying my best to be a good person. And I know that other people see that and appreciate that. And they treat me well. And they like to be around me. So uh, I'm just, I'm looking forward to next chapters and starting new. And what our family is going to look like with three babies. I'm freaking out about it. I'm like, what, what, ha what is happening? Uh, but it's going to be good. It's going to be a good change and I'm excited and excuse my nose is running. I'm like a toddler <laughs> pregnant and emotional and I might not feel this way in like six months from now, but this is how I feel right now. And I wanted to share it. So if you made it this far, thanks for watching. And I don't know, I might start making videos on the regular. I do have a YouTube channel that I might start putting videos on just because why not? So uh, if you like this video, I guess just stay tuned for the next one and we'll see, see you next time. Excuse me, I'm gonna go eat some Tums now and eat ice cream and watch my show. Bye. <laughs>